the metaphor of a race that Paul uses. If you, if you have not entered the race, I want to invite you to join us. We, we bring the text screen up. I, there's not a lot of us here today, and so um, I'll be out at the, the table in the lobby if you want to talk. But if you'd like to get together this week or have a phone call conversation or an email conversation, I would love to share with you how you can join the race with us. It's not a race you have to run alone, actually. We can't run it alone. And, um, but it is a beautiful race of following Jesus and becoming more like Him. So text the number. You don't have to write a, uh, any specific word. Just tell me what, what you're thinking. I'll get it today or whenever you send it, and, uh, and, and we'll con I'll contact you this week. But as we go, may we remember that our, our job, no, forget the, I hate the word job. Jobs are never fun. Um, our privilege is to experience life in Jesus, the eternal life, the kingdom life, and to offer and share that with each other in the family and with those who, who don't know anything about what we're talking about. My prayer today as we leave is may the life and the joy and the peace and the patience and the kindness and all the fruits of the Spirit, all the things that Jesus offers, may they so fill your life that they're overflowing so that everywhere you go as you are pouring into the lives of others, it is, it is just being poured out of this abundance of what God is doing in you. That's the prayer, that we don't get exhausted and burnt out because we're trying to do things in our own power, but we're so open to what the Spirit wants to do, and we're so focused on Jesus as our King that we can't help but live lives of love and grace and hope to people. That's my prayer for all of us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.